All right, I have an iPhone 6 here, and the guy, another tech tried to solder this thing on, and uh, it's a 0, 5, 0, 1, 0, 0, 5 component, and I think it disables air speaker or something like that. It's a 0, 1, 0, 0, 5 right here, 70 ohm filter, and sometimes, uh, I mean, I remember when I first started, this, this was a really, really hard repair. Mainly because you got a screw post here, you got a, a plastic connector here, and you're trying to get a 01005 component there, and it's it's impossible to do it because you don't really want to burn this, you don't want to burn this, you don't want to. I mean, and if you don't have the right tools, you are screwed. That's that's just what it comes down to. Okay, so I'm gonna gonna kind of show you guys how I do this right now. All right, and understand that I have thousand dollar tools here, and I don't just have any old tool okay so I mean I spent a lot of money on these damn things for a reason let me see if I can get this camera a little more clear uh, is that good alright so that looks pretty good okay so I have a JBC NS NASE dash 2B because I have the black uh, nano tweezers I think the one B has the green ones that you can't adjust the, the tips. You can't align them really. So this is the upgrade version, latest version. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of a flux here. This is gonna be uh, Amtec NC559 flux, and I'm gonna use some Kester 6337. That's tin lead. 6337 um, solder and I have a uh, this is my micro soldering pencil okay it's um, I've got the three mil the point three millimeter tip on here uh, I think it's C105-105 alright so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tin the tin these pads here okay oh that pads already ripped See how tight that is? That is so tight right there. So let's see if we can get a little bit of let's see if we can tin it just a little bit more before we jack it up here, okay? Alright. Alright, so that is tin. I'm gonna try not to rip it. Okay, so that's good I think. And then he said he jacked this one up too, so I'm gonna see if I can So the guy really didn't want to spend sixty-five dollars. I told him it was sixty-five bucks to, to fix this because that is pretty much my main or my cheapest bench fee that I have, pretty much. And uh, he tried to do it himself. But anyways, I mean, this is why we charge. I mean, it's really not a hard job, but this is why we charge charge uh, what we charge to fix these things because. It's not a hard job to us, or I mean to us, yeah, but it's it's really not an easy job. It really isn't. So I'm actually going to get a little more solder here. I really want to get a so so clean my clean the tip off and I'm just, I just left just a little bit of solder at the end of it and this is what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go down like this and then see if I can create a nice solid solid shiny joint here okay that's solid that's shiny and then we can turn it and this is why I like the bent tip actually because it's a little bit easier to get access to to things so I'm gonna see if I can get this side now without grounding it out right. and we will try this side again So it doesn't look like it's actually connected yet. This is definitely not an easy job. See that? I'm still having problems with it, so. It's because I 
because there's lead leaded lead free solder down below there I keep saying it's an easy job but uh, alright let's do this my stuff is gumming up might have to get the 0.1 millimeter tip out but I'm gonna clean this old flux away and maybe get rid of get rid of the old uh, lead free solder Try not to lose my little component there. You can really use heat to do it. I mean, that's that's probably the preferred method. But we will try this first. If this doesn't work, then we'll get a heat. I really don't want to take it out of the case here. Take it out of the frame here. So I just switched over to my 0.1 millimeter tip here, and I'm going to hope that does a little bit better. It's not bent, so, but let me get my component from over here. So you can see this is still not very easy for me because it's mainly because this the pad is actually it's probably a ground pad right there and it just doesn't like to hold solder well for some reason. You see that? It's just not easy. Not easy at all. Um, I think it's time to get a little bit of heat, maybe. All right, so that's pretty strong right there. So let's get the other filter out and put it put it back. Let me pause it real quick. Actually, I won't pause it. So we can get it from a donor board here. Okay. Let's try using our tweezers, see what happens. I think it's going to be a tight, tough fit, but 
We shall see. Maybe it'll be easier. So I need some bent, I should probably get my bent tips on here, but this is where the point seven millimeter tips, or I mean uh, the point seven uh, Barlow lens is not a good thing. So I need just a little bit more space underneath my, or under my uh, eyepieces here. So that is pretty much it right there. I uh, just need to make sure that there's no shorts or anything like that. And then we're good pretty much to go. So that joint right there is not the best. So I'm just going to actually... All right, that is solid. So let me just wiggle this just a little bit. Okay, there you go. Just want to make sure that that's not uh, grounded at all, which, it, which I don't think it is. All right, so let's get our multimeter out, put it in continuity mode, and uh, make sure everything's good to go. So I just need to make sure that this goes to here. And then... Okay. So I want to make sure the outside posts are grounded. And this is not grounded, but it is. So that's ground. Let's 
So why is this grounded? It's not grounded. Okay. So I think we're good. Let's just zoom in real quick and take a look at it. All right, there you go. And that is that. That's how you do it. Oh, can you guys even see that now? All right, see that. Let me see if I can make it just a little more clear. Is that good? Alright, so that's it. Soldering a 01005 component. Thanks for watching our video. Um, I just wanted to kind of go over two courses that we have available on Udemy.com right now. Um, if you go to microsolder.com, click on learn, and then getting started, you'll see that uh, we have two courses available. The first one is iPhone Logic Board Repair, the basics, and in this course we go over the basic building blocks of Logic Board to the tools and equipment necessary to the basic uh, fault finding and troubleshooting. Uh, this, this course is mainly for people looking to get started in the micro soldering. It goes over all the components and, and basic troubleshooting tips and stuff like that. Um, so you can just go to the website and click on the link and it'll bring you to the Udemy page to uh, to buy the course. And the second course goes over which uh, I wrote part of. Uh, it goes over how to troubleshoot problems and it, in this course we go over the three most common um, iPhone repair problems which is no backlight, touch IC disease and charging problems and we, we kinda we go over in detail exactly how to troubleshoot and fix these things so if interested please visit the website microsoldering.com and uh, you can get some more information from there alright thanks for watching bye